Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. Today I want to talk about one of the more interesting cards in Hearthstone, and it's probably one of those cards that might be getting a bit overshadowed by uh, all the new introduced cards coming up with goblins and gnomes. When it comes to Arena, uh, you very rarely get to pick Shadow Form, but sometimes when you do, it's kind of like that weird card where uh, sometimes it does really well and sometimes it does very poorly, and it's kind of difficult to understand why. And I think recently, for whatever reason, I've queued into quite a few priests with it, and I've, I've kind of figured it out how to actually use this card, um, and why and why it's good, and why it's kind of shitty. Uh, so in the background, I'll show you guys a game where um, my opponent totally, totally failed at using Shadow Form, but in a very similar case, um, I've seen, you know, priests use Shadow Form and actually destroy me. So just to start, a few you know easy easy things here with Shadow Form. So when you use Shadow Form, it resets your hero ability. You can do heal, Shadow Form, and then use Shadow Form. You can also use Shadow Form again, as shown by the card, to have it deal uh, three damage. And doing so, you can actually ping a second time. So you can Shadow Form, ping, Shadow Form, and then ping for three. So you can ping for like five, and it's, it's got these cool effects, that kind of stuff. And you can modify it with Velen, but no other card that I really know. And in general, people uh, people like this kind of ability. They like having Priest able to do two damage or something with a hero power, because the heal is not very useful at the start of the game, though that is changing a little bit with uh, Dark Cultists and a few other minions, and probably a lot of minions being introduced with um, Goblins vs. Gnomes. Uh, you know, pushing the priest hero power a little bit higher, but still, like, you know, healing a, a raptor is it's not really going to do anything. You're just, like, countering maybe, like, a mage ability, something like that, and often slowing yourself way too much. So, when it comes to Shadow Form, the best way that I've seen it played is right at the start of the game. And this goes against what people have uh, talked about in Constructed. I have read what other people think about the card, and people say that um, it's just too slow. And it's true. It's too slow because, you know, if you're basically doing three mana, if you're using three mana to do absolutely nothing, um, and then you have to use your hero power to actually get value out of it, uh, it's a bit of a problem. Like, two damage for two mana is pretty good. But you have to use it multiple times for it to actually be worth the investment. So if you don't get a chance to hero power successfully, you know, several times throughout the game, the Shadow Form is not really very good. And in Constructed, because mana efficiency is such a big thing, because the decks are finely tuned, because, you know, there's like two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop combos, you know, you're screwed, you often don't really get those chances. You don't get the chances to use these hero powers, and often, well, doing two damage to something doesn't actually make any difference. For instance, when you play against Handlock, when you play against Druid, it's, it's just not really significant in a lot of cases. And that's why this role is filled by Akunai Soul Priest. Akunai Soul Priest pretty much gives you Shadow Form for the duration that the creature is alive, and it makes it really good because you can use your heal hero power, which often is you know, the best thing in the late game. And when you need to do damage, you can do it momentarily. It's a high priority target because your opponent, you know, kind of doesn't want to deal with circle heal combos, all that other kind of crap, so they get rid of it. And it, it kind of fills that niche. That's why Shadow Form is kind of bad, especially in Constructed, because of the tempo of the game and because you have, you know, much better alternatives. However, in Arena, you don't always get Akanai Soul Priest. And when you do, you're really happy. Uh, but Shadow Form seems to work a little bit better in Arena, in my opinion. I've seen it single-handedly win games, and it does so when played at the start of the game, and I mentioned that because in Arena, things kind of move a little bit more slowly. There aren't, like, too many combos. Basically, everyone's playing creature-based decks unless you get, you know, really, really lucky or unlucky, I guess, in your Arena drafts. So it does end up paying off because you don't usually die right away. Uh, you don't always need to heal to keep yourself in the game as the game progresses. It's a different type of gameplay. It's mostly creatures versus creatures, and everyone's got to have a lot of early game, a lot of mid game, so you set up yourself to have a lot of targets. Now the problem is, and the problem that you see in the video behind me, that if you're facing an opponent who has a pretty good curve of creatures, you just can't keep up because the two damage is not that significant. And when someone plays against Shadow Form, it's very 
it's very easy to know that you're just supposed to rush the guy down. And Priest, especially in Arena, doesn't have that many answers in general. Um, so losing all those turns that you would otherwise have from being able to heal yourself kind of creates a problem. You're on a clock, you're facing tempo, and while your hero power is extremely good for a hero power, in terms of mana efficiency, it's not really the best. And I've seen this work though. I've seen this work where the priest at the start of the game is already winning. Casting a shadow form at that point in the game pretty much guarantees the win. And I'm saying this from when I've had like ridiculous arena decks and I get to like eight or nine wins or something like that. And, you know, usually a lot of the higher end arena decks, uh, they lack a little bit of two drops um, and they, they make up for that with like board clears, that kind of stuff. Sometimes you miss like your two drop, you miss your three drop. If you miss your two drop, the priest has a two drop and you have a three drop that is challenged by, you have a three drop that's challenged by the two drop of the priest, which is also often the case. If they get a spot to shadow form, if you miss your two or your three, they're going to be able to do that. And that's when you pretty much instantly lose the game. And it's a very interesting thing. It's happened to me a few times now, and it highlights the card that um, pretty much is an Akanai that you can't get off the board. And when, you, when you're trying to win the game with Raptors and like Yetis and that kind of stuff, suddenly your, your Yeti dies to their Raptor, and your Raptor dies to nothing. And as you get through the game, the fact that the creatures which you usually built the priest deck around, like Temple Enforcers, high health, low attack creatures, they still also synergize with the new Shadow Form Hero Power. Because, for instance, if you have, uh, oh, I don't know, like a Fen Creeper. Fen Creeper is a good priest card because it has six health, it doesn't die to something right away, so you could heal it. But in the same regard, Fen Creeper is good if your hero power does two damage, because it suddenly has an attack range of five, and it still probably doesn't die to whatever you're playing. So. With Shadow Form, a Fen Creeper kills two Yetis, for instance, which is ridiculous. And as such, when it comes down to it, Shadow Form in Arena is really not that bad of a card. Uh, certainly not as bad as some people may think, but it does require a pretty specific situation. Another downside of the card is that, well, if you're in top deck mode and you draw Shadow Form and you're low on health, which is usually the case as a priest, uh, you're pretty much screwed. And this is often the case in Arena, often when you face mages, that kind of stuff. And that kind of flips around the advantage. So um, as a priest, you usually do very well against mages, because when you both run out of cards, his hero power is a lot worse than yours. But when you get Shadow Form, even though that still remains to be the case, they're the ones with Fireball, they're the ones with Pyroblast. So if you're too low on life, and you're both top decking, well, it doesn't really work very well. And this is also shared in uh, Constructed, where, you know, when you reach the late stages of the game, people are swinging with Ragnaroses and stuff like that. And the two damage type of stuff doesn't really make much of a difference. So, where is Shadow Form right now? It certainly doesn't really have a place in Constructed, as a lot of people know. But in Arena, it is worth trying. It's a very interesting card. And, you know, I hope it's not a card that uh, will be forgotten once all these new ones will be introduced. And, you know, every time you get an epic pick an arena, uh, you're pretty much never going to pick Shadow Form. Well, I guess you'd always pick it over Hungry Crab and that pirate dude. Yeah. It's a cool card though. Hope you guys like my analysis, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.